four, three, two, one. Thursday started with a bang for the private spaceflight company SpaceX. Roaring upwards from a launch pad in Florida's Cape Canaveral, a Falcon 9 rocket took off carrying 60 satellites. SpaceX confirmed their deployment on Twitter. The satellites will continue forming the company's Starlink orbiting internet service. Astronomers have complained the satellites block the view of anything beyond them. Two, one, ignition. We have liftoff. The successful launch comes on the heels of a not so successful mission Wednesday in Boca Chica, Texas. There, SpaceX launched its Starship prototype that flew 10 kilometers before landing. But when the Starship landed and after the SpaceX live stream ended, it exploded. The failure came just two minutes after SpaceX celebrated the win. Yet the company's successes included numerous trips to the International Space Station, where this week NASA's Kate Rubens and Victor Glover began work to install modification kits needed for upcoming upgrades to the solar array. They spacewalked for more than seven hours and worked on some of the station's oldest and worn solar wings. The new, more efficient solar panels are increasingly necessary to power a station that houses more people and a growing number of experiments. The new panels should boost electrical capacity by 30 percent, and SpaceX is set to deliver all six of them this year, just in time to welcome European astronaut Samantha Cristoforetti. The Italian is one of only two women the ESA has ever sent to space. She also set a then record for the longest single female space flight when from 2014 to 2015 she flew for almost 200 consecutive days. Christopher Reddy is scheduled to go back to the ISS in 2022. Finally this week, a fireball lit the sky over Hervey Bay, Queensland. A professor at the University of Southern Queensland said it was a piece of a rocket that launched a Chinese satellite in 2019. NASA says more than 15,000 hunks of space junk were catalogued orbiting Earth as of November 2020. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News.